Wild weather, extreme weather, 2015 saw it all. And now all signs point to this weekend looking reminiscent of February 2010. A whole lot of snow and a whole lot of wind. Earth scientist Compton Tucker says there's growing evidence it has to do with the Earth's temperature. The 15 warmest years have, have, have all occurred since 2000. Tucker says there are upwards of 30,000 weather stations around the world with data monitored by a variety of organizations, including NASA. He says there's agreement that 2015 was the warmest by a quarter of a degree Fahrenheit. These are conditions, he says, that appear to favor extreme weather. Here on the East Coast, one month ago, it was 70 degrees Fahrenheit very unusual and now it's really cold and so you have more extremes you have more extreme weather events things like floods uh, things like extreme snowstorms things like wildfires in the western u.s where it could be wetter and then it could be drier of course no one has a crystal ball but tucker believes that more extreme weather conditions can be expected in years to come here in greenbelt jennifer franciotti wbal tv 11 news